Human soft tissue deformations are complex and vary significantly with body shape. Our goal is to create 3D avatars that move and deform as humans do. DINA is a mathematical model that synthesizes realistic body shape deformations resulting from soft tissue dynamics. DINA takes a body shape and a sequence of poses as input and produces lifelike mesh deformations as output. It works for any body shape, producing visually appropriate deformations. DINA is trained from examples, but generalizes to new motions, provides animator controls for manipulating soft tissue effects, and can be applied to stylized characters. Many previous methods, like Scape, learn a body shape model from static 3D scans. These methods model static soft tissue deformations, but not dynamic ones, resulting in stiff-looking animations. To learn a model of soft tissue deformation, we need data. To capture bodies in motion, we use a custom active stereo system that uses 22 pairs of stereo cameras and speckle projectors to capture 3D body shape at 60 frames per second in a wide range of natural motions. We captured 70,000 scans of 16 subjects, performing 14 actions, including jumping, hopping, running in place, and various types of jiggling. Subjects spanned a range of sizes, with body mass index values ranging from 20 to 47. To build the DINA model, a template mesh is aligned to the scans, bringing all the data into correspondence across subjects and time. This is a fully automated process. This results in 70,000 meshes, containing complex motions and varying body shape. We use 40,000 for training and the remainder for testing. The training meshes are available for research purposes. These examples illustrate the complexity of the motions and the quality of the alignment. Notice how the mesh quad structure appears glued to the surface, illustrating the quality of the alignment. Scape represents static soft tissue deformations, but not dynamic ones. We compute the difference in deformation between the aligned meshes and a scape model. These deformations correspond primarily to soft tissue dynamics. Observe the soft tissue deformations of the arms, belly and chest. We reduce the dimensionality of the observed deformations using principal components analysis. The first few PCs are shown here as shape changes from the mean body shape in a canonical pose. Notice how these components capture non-rigid shape variation. Here we project the non-rigid mesh deformations onto a low dimensional PCA space. Shape deformations are approximated using a small number of linear coefficients. We vary the number of principal components. 10 components already capture some soft tissue motion, while 50 produce a result that is noticeably more realistic. We use 300 components to train the DINA model. DINA is an extension of SCAPE that combines shape deformations due to a person's identity with those due to their motion. The DINA model predicts the low-dimensional PCA coefficients using a second-order autoregressive model. Dynamic shape coefficients are predicted from the velocity and acceleration of the body, the joint angle velocities and accelerations, as well as from a history of previous dynamic shape coefficients. The second-order autoregressive model captures the effect of waves propagating through soft tissue. After a sudden impact, soft tissue can be seen jiggling after the body stops moving. We compare results of the second-order autoregressive model with those obtained with no autoregressive term. The zeroth-order model is driven only by velocities and accelerations. The second-order model produces smoother and more realistic results, with motions that continue after the motion stops, and dampen down realistically. We evaluate generalization in four ways. Case one involves having a known actor for whom we already have several training motion sequences. Here, we want to generate the actor in a new sequence, and we have seen other actors perform this motion. We show the ground truth alignment, the basic scape model, and DINA, which extends scape. The alignment is shown here for reference. Case two involves a known actor again, but now we test on a completely new sequence that we have never seen any actor perform. Case three and four test generalization to new subjects not present in either the PCA space or temporal model. Case three test generalization to a new subject, but using a motion that we have seen the training subjects perform. Case four test generalization to a new subject and a completely new motion. DINA always produces something more lifelike than SCAPE, but it does not necessarily always reproduce the reference alignment. Given only a single body scan, we can predict soft tissue motions. Here, we take bodies from the CSER dataset, estimate their BMI, and animate them using DINA. DINA takes into account the person's body mass index in estimating their deformations. We exaggerate the dynamic deformations for heavy people. This results in different and plausible soft tissue motions 
for bodies of widely different shape. Dino also admits animator control. Given the subject in the centre, we change his weight while keeping his height fixed. This changes his BMI. Dino adapts to varying BMI and produces different soft tissue deformations. We can mix and match the base body shape and the shape used for soft tissue dynamics to create novel effects. Here we use the body shape of the heavy man to estimate soft tissue deformations for the skinny man in motion. The result makes his body look very soft. This soft tissue retargeting can be used to create artistic or exaggerated effects. We can also apply the deformations from a real person to a stylized character. The mesh has to be in alignment with our template and then we simply use it in place of the basic skate body. It is easy to exaggerate soft tissue dynamics. We simply scale the dynamic shape coefficients predicted by Dyna. Here we multiply them by a factor of 2.5. While exaggerated, the deformations remain plausible. Here we exaggerate three new subjects by a factor of 2. Animators can also exaggerate or attenuate the soft tissue dynamics on different parts of the body. Here we accentuate the motions of the chest and compare the result to scape. The colour coding corresponds to weights used to exaggerate the local deformations. Hot colours correspond to larger exaggerations. In summary, Dyna is a model of realistic human soft tissue deformation that is learned from 40,000 body scans of people in motion using a novel 4D scanner. Dyna relates body shape and motion to shape deformations, producing realistic soft tissue animations that can be varied and apply to new bodies and to stylized characters.